know, it's probably been a long time in the making, but it's all now official. Yeah, it feels good. Um, obviously, at the club I grew up supporting, and it's, now it's a, a childhood dream that's come true. So, um, yeah, can't be more thankful for the opportunity that they've, that they've given me. And looking forward to getting stuck into training with the boys and, um, yeah, move from there. How long has it been in terms of the chats with, say, Kenny, knowing that this was actually going to happen? Uh, well, it hasn't been Kenny as such. Um, more talking to Paul Stewart over the last probably 12 months where he sort of kept me in, in contact and um, giving me a little bit of the word on the street. And it wasn't until probably the last month, two months there, um, spoken to Ken and he sort of said, like, we're in a position to do it. And Chris Davies said the same. And, yeah, I guess from there and finishing the end of the season, it was um, still no certainty, but... You know, gave a little bit of confidence that that was going to be a destination for me. You had enough to wear the Port Adelaide beanie in the interview before, right? <laughs> yeah, um, no, nah, well, yeah, like I said, I grew up supporting Port, so it's not something that's come around in the last sort of two months when it's been spoken about a bit more. It's, you know, I wear my beanies, wear my Port gear um, just normally, and I guess now it has a lot more of a meaning to me. Came off a hell of a year for the Eagles. Um, fair to say, you're pushing for round one, that's a goal. Oh, yeah, I guess that, that's a goal of mine and it will be a goal moving forward. But, yeah, I guess for the time being, we'll just focus on getting pre-season done and, um, yeah, work my ass off and, um, yeah, see where we see where we, how we feel uh, round one if the body's good. Just tell us about where you were last night and we had a few mates around you and what did you party on a bit afterwards? <laughs> Down at the Wallery Tavern uh, with a few other mates, Caleb Poulter and Zach Phillips. Um, yeah, we had a few, few quiet ones. Um, you know, it was a long night, so... Um, be rude not to. So um, yeah, no. Nah, after the draft was done, we definitely had a few more beers, and Dad and I shared one. It was a special moment, and um, yeah, with the boys as well. So uh, yeah. Was it important for you to be back home um, when it all went down? Yeah, it was for me. Um, obviously, moving down from the from the country, um, beginning of this year, but being away from my family for a while, and it was good just to be home with mates. And um, yeah, I wouldn't want to spend it anywhere else and with anyone else apart from my parents um, being the biggest people for my footy in the last you know three or four years so yeah it was only, it was the right thing to do and yeah loved every minute of it when did you find out that you could be uh, selected by Port Adelaide as the next generation academy player well I guess ever since joining the academy that was always um, an avenue into playing for Port that was always a yeah chance and it wasn't until sort of I, don't know, I guess beginning of this year where it started to get spoken about a little bit more and progressed into the start of the season and started stringing some decent games together and um, yeah pushed up the draft board and then yeah we started to put the pressure on Port and then yeah it wasn't until probably like I said two months ago where uh, Chris Davies and, and Jason Cripps and had said that you know we're in a position and yeah it was that's probably it. Being, you've been described as ready-made to step into the side. How excited are you that you could potentially force your way into a side in the premiership window, realistically? Yeah, obviously very exciting, um, provided that pre-season goes well and keep the body fit and obviously put on a bit of bit of muscle. And um, yeah, I guess it's easy to say ready-made now, but it could be a different story in four months' time. And um, I guess we'll, we'll work that out when we get there. You reckon you come in defence and then maybe try and move into a later in your career, or do you just? Yeah, I assume. Um, hasn't been much talk about positions yet. I guess drafted as a defender and probably where I played all my footy this year. So, um, yeah, I'd say defence is probably a starting point. But, yeah, hopefully midfield's um, another position to move into yeah, not, not long after. Mark, stick around long um, I'll see, if, see what the boys say when we get to the club. Um, sort of get an indication there. It might, might come off in the next week.